whatever we speak it is either death or life says god whatever whatever a human being speaks it is either death or life says god in the book of proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 god says like this the bible says like this death and life is in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof death and life is in the power of the tongue my brother my sister my friend so be very careful with your words who says this god says this whatever we speak can be categorized into two either death or life that's it that's it nothing else says god remember the words we speak the words i speak the words you speak the words we speak are not just sound or noise they are spirits they have life in it and they never die that is the reason we still remember so many things what we heard from others you got it it never dies it never dies they are spirits that's what we see in the book of john chapter 6 verse 63 words are nothing but spirits we are created in the very image of god Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 So our words have creative power Our words are basically meant for creation then comes for communication So be very careful when you choose your words God says it Words are nothing but seeds When you sow a word you are sowing a thought when you sow a thought you are reaping an action you got it so your words are nothing but seeds whatever you sow you must reap that's what we see in the book of galatians chapter 6 verse 7 my brother my sister my friend wake up wake up god says that death and life is not in the power of god death and life is not in the power of satan death and life is in the power of your tongue your tongue your tongue my tongue my tongue my tongue god says that it is not death and life is not in the power of god or in the power of satan but in the power of you and i in our tongue remember that God says that in the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 36 God says that man shall give an account of every idle word he speaks on the day of judgment you know that every word every idle word what we speak we must give an account of that on the day of judgment wake up my brother my sister wake up let your words be full of life full of love full of blessings full of hope full of encouragement full of restoration choose those kind of words whenever you are angry you better remain quiet be silent Don't open your mouth, don't say anything bad, anything wrong, anything evil. Never ever do that. Because your death and your life is in your tongue. Remember that. Who says this? God says this. In the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 17, God says like this: "Ye have wearied the Lord with your words. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words." Yet he say wherein have we wearied him 
when he say everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the lord and he delights in them or where is the god of judgment you see how true it is how often we come across people who speak like this god is asking us he is telling us he is warning us god knows everything god knows what we think what we talk what we do what we did in the past and what we will ever do in future god knows everything but god is waiting for the judge day of judgment remember wake up wake up wake up learn understand correct yourself and be productive be fruitful be a blessing to others that's what god says think about it he is he says three things here every one that doeth evil is good in the sight of the lord many people say that we know people many people say like that in anger with god because all these things are happening why they do not know why and they choose to blame god for that they used to say that when he say malachi chapter 2 verse 17 ye have wearied the lord with your words yet he say wherein have we wearied him when he say every one that doeth evil is good in the sight of the lord and he delights in them or where is the god of judgment many 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 talk like this god says that it wearies him you got it death and life is in the power of our tongue and god says that every one has to give an account of every idle word we speak be warned my brother my sister my friend choose your words very carefully because it can either be death or life it can either be curse or blessing it can either be good or bad it can either be right or wrong so be very careful about that my brother my sister my friend god loves you jesus loves you i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah